Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your daily love message for Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, I don't know if you guys are dealing with a fire sign, but in your pre-shuffle, check out their message. In their pre-shuffle or in your pre-shuffle, I got four of the same cards that the fire signs did and temperance. So I don't usually show my pre-shuffles, but um I just felt it was important if you are most definitely dealing with a uh, fire sign. And they got the Ten of Cups in that reading as well. So check it out. Um, and it could have some messages in there for you guys. So, all right, I'm going to tip you down. I've been shuffling for quite a while on your cards. First card will be the uh, situation of your current relationship or... Um, or what energy is surrounding the current situation you're in. So our Earth sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One card for their relationship, please. Thank you. Okay. Five of Swords and Queen of Cups. All right. One card for their Earth signs energy they bring to the relationship. I'm not going to keep these just because there's way too many, but it's the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Let's get one more. Oh my goodness, way too many. One more. Thank you. All right, and there's that temperance down there at the bottom of your deck for your outcome. Whoa. Okay, Earth signs, you got huge changes coming forward for or coming up for you. Um, I will set this off to the side for a second. So, all right, um, you we could have um. An earth sign on both sides here. You could be with another earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like yourself, because we do have the king and the queen um, looking away from each other on each side of the um, energy. So, okay. So the current status of the relationship is it's not good. <laughs> there's coldness. There's there's a lot of. Uh, could be arguments. Somebody's thinking that they are winning a situation and clearly they're not. These people are just letting them think they're winning. So um, there could be a situation where with uh, one of you um, could be the the female in the relationship, uh, but it doesn't have to be. Whoever the one that is, you know, the nurturing, um, you know, the mother uh, feel vibe person. Um, they're very concentrated on finances. They're very concentrated on that coin. Um, be cautious of this energy. Actually. Um, if this isn't your sign, they could be trying to pull a fast one is what I'm hearing. That's for very few people, but, um, there is somebody that's going to watch this, that their person or them is trying to make the other person think that they've won and they haven't. They're just kind of 
putting plans in place. Um, but for the majority of you, um, this person, um, one of you is being walked away from. This, this is separating. Uh, even though there is love there, I feel it's like a mutual love due to children, um, due to being friends for, you know, for a long time. Um, but it's not like deep, passionate love like the two of you um, either once had or what you wish you had. Um, so there is one of you that is walking away from the connection. Um, the person on this side... Like I said, they're trying to figure out how to make their own money. They're very concentrated on finances. Um, they need to find some healing. Um, their block to uh, to the situation is they're giving more than they're getting. They're pouring out all their cups, um, or their you know all their energy, and they're not getting any back. She's not standing. She's not in the water. She's pouring it out in the grass and in the pond. So. The, this person's block is they're, they're drained. They're tired. They're tired of nurturing everybody. They're tired of taking care of everybody. They're just tired. Um, and there was a tower. Yeah, there is a tower moment that's coming. Um, or because this is spirit's advice. So this is allow the, the tower to fall. Allow the slate to be wiped clean. Um, there's there's better things than what this energy is that you have been um, dealing with. So it's time to to clear out the energy space. You have healing for you here. Now is the time to let this tower fall and and start over fresh, start over new. Because this person is just energetically drained. Um, there was some hurt in the past that still hasn't been healed, and and there's just a lot of sadness around this energy um they could have had a shake-up in the relationship prior like you could have had a shake-up with this person this person could have broke this person's heart in the past but they tried to stick it out um they tried to to get this to work but but one of you is walking away the person that's walking away is on this side. They're successfully moving away from this connection. They're leaving behind what they're cutting their losses and moving forward with success. Um, yeah, and they're successfully going to move towards stability. Um, this could be if you are dealing with a fire sign, they are moving towards an earth sign, a stable earth sign. Um because we do have the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance here. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius Earth sign. Um, but this person is very well known in the community. They could have a YouTube channel. They could work in a public figure like, you know, a mayor or, you know, uh, I don't know. Something that the community knows them. Um, people come to them for help. People, people watch them. Um, so this person is very well known. They're also very stable. Um, they're very grounded, very connected to the universe. And this person um, has unconditional love for you. Um, and the wheel is turning. The wheel is turning in favor. This is all going with the flow. And when you do, beautiful things are going to happen. Not fighting upstream. Um, so I'm getting two different storylines here. So let me go back. Earth sign, you on this side, you're trying to figure out how to provide for yourself, how to get your finances in order, how to love and nurture um, a connection or how to heal from this situation, this five of swords, where there's a lot of hurt, a lot of betrayal. And those three of swords still need to be healed from that you walked away from. Um, you could have walked away from this person in the past. You could have um, took your three of swords, walked away, and left this person before, even though they had unconditional love for you. This could be a uh, divine partnership because we have the king and the queen and temperance here with the star. So for me, that is twin flame, um, deep soulmate, if it's not a twin flame. But you walked away from this person in the past. Uh the stars are aligning and there's going to be a tower moment in your 
life um, to clear out the energy, to get rid of whatever is in your space that's not meant to be. So unconditional true love can come in. And that's when this person will successfully move into your life, um, choosing to be with you, stable partners with you, divine partners with you. This is going with the flow, not fighting it, not forcing it. Um, and that's what they've been doing. They've just been doing them waiting for this opportunity to come back together and the two of you are finding each other again after this tower comes down spirit's advice to you earth sign is to allow the tower to fall quit trying to stop it quit trying to fight what is meant to be um and this other side is to go with the flow now if you are an earth sign with an earth sign um like i said this earth sign is tired exhausted um they need to replenish their energy. Their block is they need to um, start focusing on themselves and not give more energy than they get and to allow the tower to fall, to walk away and cut your losses, um, to be selfish and do what's best for you. Because when you love yourself um, unconditionally, you don't put up with the energy that you have been dealing with. The other earth sign is successfully leaving this connection, heading towards a more stable relationship, um, going with the flow, allowing the tower to end this connection, and then bringing in good, um, positive blessings into their life because they decided to love themselves unconditionally and move into a connection that is more suited for them. The outcome is temperance. So finding balance, being patient, finding healing, self-care, self-healing, self-love, self-assurance, self-reliance, self-everything. This is the healing of your own being, um, the balance of your shadow and light, and just a healing. So the two um, people who are in separation can come together. Um, this comes after... Oh, I had it right the first time. Okay, look how big... Look how big this uh, outcome is. Holy crap, right? Okay, so, I mean, there are huge major arcana. Star, Tower, Chariot, Temperance, Moon, and Wheel of Fortune. Hello. So you're going to get this balance. You're going to be able to come into a connection with somebody who you are divine partners with. Um, and that's going to come after, for one, secrets come out things that were done in the dark are coming to the light, but most importantly, following your deepest passion, allowing your heart to lead the way, to guide the way. Um, and when you do that, when you acknowledge your deep passion for somebody that you are not in a connection with, you then go with the flow and allow this situation to end. And one of you is walking away, um, leaving the situation because after the tower, this is how this progresses after the tower, the person gets in their chariot and they head out of town. Just them, themselves, single. And they are in search of the star to heal so that they can get back out there. So whoever's on this side is leaving the connection um, because this side had secrets, um, could have possibly had a third party. But whoever is on this side is most definitely... Um, getting a lot of blessings coming in. Uh, and like I said, this is divine partners. I do feel the one you are in separation from earth sign is your divine partner. Um, you are in a situation right now that you are fighting the ending of, but that has to end in order for your divine partner to come in. And I do see the universe stepping in and helping you with that, but you have to see what the universe is trying to show you. All right, let's get a card on your journey here. Ooh. All right, you the two that felt flew out there was um, clearing the air, but I didn't call for it yet. So unknown territory. You are where you need to be. So <clears throat> some of you are fearing this unknown territory. It's keeping you from allowing this tower to fall. Um, it says you're exactly where you need to be, even if you are not consciously aware of it. Even if you don't have all the answers, keep going forward with your heart open. If you can't see clearly ahead and don't know where you're headed, keep moving forward. Do what feels right, even if your brain does not agree. Your ego will try to set fear in your heart. Do not listen to it. Do what 
do what your heart is telling you to do because your heart always knows. Instead of dismay because you are in the unknown territory, celebrate that you are expanding and growing by leaps and bounds. Sometimes the traveler feels lost. Sometimes you have a lack of confidence or sense of, of being in this unknown territory. But just know that this very feeling of not knowing allows you to step outside of your, of your comfort zone, your bounds of convention, and reach beyond the perimeters of self and see that you have been imposed by family, friends, society, religion, so this is a very good thing. If you can help you find yourself, cherish those moments because great, amazing revelations are about to occur. So trust that all is well and know that your heart will never lead you down the wrong path. Your heart will never put you in a place where you're not meant to be, but you have to listen to your heart because right now you're in a place you're not meant to be, earth signs. So listen to your heart. Don't let the ego or fear stop you from char charting those unknown territories because that's exactly where you're meant to be. Go with the flow and allow those beautiful blessings to come in because there will be success. There will be healing. There will be balance. And uh, there will be many blessings coming your way, Earth Science. So listen to your heart and move in the direction you're guided to take. All right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless.